from, and then he was in red light. Why are we gonna call entrance like that? You and I used to wear these fancy pants. <laughs> All right. Hey, we have an amazing stunt department. Let's meet them. Now, you may not recognize their faces, but you've seen a lot of their work in film and television programs, quite often doubling your favorite stars. To my right is Chris Giacomazzi. We have Johnny Zhao, and this is our stunt coordinator over here, Mr. Justin Shaver. So welcome, gentlemen. So, Justin, let me ask you a question. Would you agree that stunt performers often fill in for actors whenever there's a big fight scene? Yeah, absolutely great. Actors don't like getting kicked in the face. Kicked in the face? Like this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is he okay? <clears throat> Stop, man. That's pretty impressive. All right, so obviously when it comes to staging fights, the art of illusion is pretty important. Every move has to be done as realistically as possible so that it fools the camera without anybody getting injured and then the rest of these guys make it look believable. Let us set up the scene that you're about to see. It's an exterior, dark alley, dead of night, and lurking about, are a couple of nefarious characters. Action! And on the other side, you'll see Universal's Foley artist, Hard at Work. Now I have a plan. <laughs> You're hired. 
Hey, Jasmine, as we just discovered in that fantastic fight scene, stunt performers have an incredibly high pain threshold. The question is, do you? <laughs> well, do you? All right, on three, I want to hear that scream. One, two, three! Slides in and out to reveal this knot. It fits right over her arm. And on the back side, we've got this ball filled with blood. When you squeeze it, it makes quite a mess. It's really a wonderful, wonderful Hollywood technique, but not nearly as wonderful as our screamer, Jasmine. Jasmine, you were absolutely fantastic. Don't take that last coat off. You did such a good job, but uh, I got blood all over my pants. So not I your pants. Gotta, I did, so I got to go change. So good luck with Greg. You got it. You are awesome. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> Marla, bring up the permanent sensors, please. So ladies and gentlemen, the markers on Matt's suit were like live back to the sensors and then up to the computer that captures all of that movement. Can we get that captured on the screen, please? There you are, Matt. You're a big stick figure. So all of those markers now show up there on the screen as dots. Give me a team post, will you, buddy? So we always start out in this particular position to mark the beginning of a fresh tape. What are you doing? Very tight. We've established the tightness of your suit. Touch your nose with your left hand for me, will you? Gotcha. Good. Now with your right. And with your left. One more time with your right. We're getting a nice strong signal. I got bad news. That tight suit fits. You can relax your arms down to the arm the side. We need some full body movements now. Maybe some jumping jacks. And then maybe a little bit of marching in place. So using these wonderful movements that matters for providing animators to create these digital skeletons that they can play with the aspect ratio. Wow, apply the wire framework and then add a little bit of digital skin, and basically we can turn Matt into anything that we want. But as you can all see, the animators have made their selection. Hey Matt, you're a friendly, cuddly teddy bear. Hi everybody! <laughs> you're not just any teddy bear though, you're the star of Universal's Ted. Oh, that's sweet! Totally different teddy bear. You guys dance moves? Oh yeah, let's get funky, boy. That's it. That's what I'm going Fire stunt. And right now we're going to bring our top notch stunt department back out to show you how they execute a live fire burn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's say hello to the man who's going to be set on fire for you folks today. On center stage is Chris Giacomazzi. He's listening quite a bit. He's not sweating. They're applying a protective gel to all of those exposed areas of his face. And you may know how unpleasant it is if you've ever missed a spot of sunscreen, but you can imagine what it would feel like if you missed a spot while on fire. Not recommended. Up next is the application of the fuel, and Johnny is standing by just in case of premature ignition. Number one, test. That's cool. Number two, test. Awesome, thanks, Johnny. Right, right, we're ready to begin. Yeah. You go right ahead, Justin. Chris, you ready? Johnny, you ready? Yeah. Fill it. At the completion of the shot, Chris is going to make his way down stage to this fire blanket where he will be put out. At that point, we'll be looking for a thumbs up. If he gives us a thumbs down, that would be an alert that we need to get the medical team involved right away. I'd like to take a moment to remind you all that these are trained professional stuntmen doing this stunt, all of them using highly specialized equipment, and what you're about to witness, not the kind of thing that anybody should be thinking about doing on their own. This is Chris's 26th burn, and he's going to be on fire for roughly 8 to 10 seconds. Marlon, can we bring the lights to the theater down, please, and set our clocks to zero? So ladies and gentlemen, they are getting close at this point. We ask that everybody remain in their seats for the duration of the stunt. Justin, that's yours. Thanks, Greg. Hey, John, you ready? Yeah. Chris, ready? Ready and action. What? You're lit. Science fiction film. I should have asked you this earlier, but are you at all afraid of heights? 
I'm okay. Okay, this is good. Well, we'll find out. We're going to turn you over to our stunt coordinator who's going to get you all clipped into a helmet. And Michelle, if you'll go ahead and stand right there for me. So you guys have been together for about a year now. I'm sure you've developed some trust in that time. You'll need it. <laughs> I got a surprise for you. Coming in overhead is our Fisher Fly Rig. It's a highly sophisticated computer-controlled cable system, which we use to create the illusion of flight. Sounds very complicated, but don't worry, there's an app for that. So much. What? That's nuts. When this is over, he's going to take you shoe shopping in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Money is no object. You got a good guy there. Watch yourself, cowboy. Let's get past the shop with a little bit of rear projection. Give me the back plate, please. We have space. Michelle, let's put him there. Hit that enable button right there, and we'll take him up. That's it. Put <laughs> right there. All right. Hey, Ian, let go of those cables. Put your hands out front. Get your shoulders back. Chin up. Chin. Up. That's it. <laughs> you look completely natural. <laughs> let's put your finger on that pink block right here. Put your finger there. And then we'll take it forward just a little bit. Move him into the shot. Here he comes in the shop. Wait for that space station for me, Wait, right? Okay. <laughs> All disturbance in space. Hit the disable button right there. We'll hold that down just for a moment. Don't reset the system. You having some trouble there? <laughs> Put your shoulders back. Shoulders back. Chin up. That's it. All right. <laughs> take two. Hit that enable button. We'll take him off the ground about halfway up. We'll take him up just a little bit. Okay, good. Stop. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's your man. Let's go to his boss. Track. He's coming your way, everybody. Wait to Ian. Ian, wait. Ian has no waiting at people. Hit that the same button. Okay. All right, here, Ian. Good job for me, my friend. You're the top. All right. I miss you, too. You did great. Let's give him a big round of applause, everybody. Uh, that is clearly the non-verbal communication of a man having a great time. Go ahead and take that one. We'll bring it in for a minute. Well, that's it. Earth is right below you. Reach out. Put those shoulders back for me, Leah. Michelle, right here. Stand right there. I'll put them on. 